We're only a few weeks into the new year, and you'd think everyone would be talking about the Los Angeles Raiders win at the Super Bowl on Sunday. But instead, everyone's talking about that rad Macintosh commercial that aired in the third quarter. You know, see why 1984 won't be like 1984? <laughs> Bitchin'. Of course, we had to see what makes this awesome piece of tech tick, so we're gonna take it apart! You should think of a cool name for that. Taking it down. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and today we are so excited to see inside the much anticipated personal computer with graphical user interface, the Macintosh 128K. No more typing in commands. It's like we jumped into the future, like the year 2000 or something. This display is a beautiful black and white nine inch CRT with a resolution of 512 by 342. It has a three and a half inch floppy disk drive and a tubular keyboard and mouse. The most impressive part of this Macintosh is the super fast eight megahertz processor. To get inside, we located two hidden T15 screws and slid the machine from the rear case. Fun fact, signatures of the groundbreaking team who designed the Macintosh are inside the rear case. If your monitor is not to your liking, maybe you need to fix the brightness or the size, you're gonna have to get all the way inside the case and adjust the dials with a key. With a few turns of our Phillips driver, we're able to get a closer look at the 60 watt power supply. 60 watts for this whole computer. That's totally radical. And now we turn our attention to the logic board, which is concealed in this nifty tray. On the board, you can see the Motorola 8 megahertz microprocessor, as well as a Fairchild Semiconductor 74LS393 video counter. As for the RAM, Apple plays 16 of Micron's 4264, 64K RAM chips. Now on to the keyboard and mouse. This keyboard was easy enough to get into, we just removed a few screws and voila. If you're opening your keyboard though, it's probably because you need to fix a button. And I'm here to tell you that it won't be that easy because all the buttons are individually soldered onto the board. The mouse is relatively simple. The ease of this point and click device is due to the rubber ball inside its cage. We've come to the end of our take apart, which means it's time to talk repairability. At iFixit, it's our mission to teach people how to repair everything. So we give every gadget we take apart a repairability score between one and 10. 10 being the easiest to repair and one being the most difficult. The Macintosh 128K got a seven out of 10. And here's why. On the upside, once you're inside, it's simple and straightforward to replace any of the main components, the floppy drive, power supply, logic board, or CRT display. It also has a user replaceable clock battery and no adhesive anywhere. But on the downside, the case is fairly difficult to open with deeply recessed screws and a tight panel fit. And finally, there's some dangerous high voltage on both the power supply and the CRT that make repair potentially hazardous. And that's our tear apart. We took the Macintosh all the way down to its bones. Oh, we got it, tear down. We should call it a tear down. Tune in next time when we discuss the possibilities of this so-called cyberspace. Is it a possibility or just another sci-fi fantasy? And if it does end up a reality, you should check out ifixit.com for the complete teardown and subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch all our new teardowns and repair videos. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit. Cyberspace? <laughs> Sounds like something George Lucas came up with. I tell you what though, Mark Hamill is going to be huge after these Star Wars trilogies. Big star.